Hi, it's day two of our fuel cycle challenge. We are on the second deep S day, and I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite deep S breakfasts, and it's so simple, but I really enjoy it. At the deli counter at my Kroger store, they have European bacon, and it's something that you probably wanna to check to make sure there's no added sugar. I've made sure mine does not have added sugar, but I'll take a piece of European bacon. It's like more like a, it looks like Canadian bacon almost, but I think it tastes a lot better. It's like a round slice of ham. So I will fry that on both sides. Just, I usually do it dry. I don't know if I need to add oil, but then I'll fry an egg in butter and I will just put the fried egg on top of the piece of, European bacon and cut into it and it's so delicious and so yummy. I try to get veggies on the side, which is one of my goals for this fuel cycle, have veggies with every meal or as close to it as I possibly can, but it's a very simple, very quick and easy breakfast. Um, I definitely am hungry this morning after having a fried egg, planning to have second breakfast. So um, that's totally okay. I still would love for everybody to be spacing their meals correctly. So if you're in boot camp with me, you know all of the tools and cheat sheets and resources we have about meal timing are so important and we emphasize that a lot in boot camp because it's something that makes a big difference. So if you're in boot camp with me or you've been in boot camp with me, I expect you to have the timing down. But if you haven't gone through boot camp, I really encourage you to watch your timing and space your meals correctly. And just be aware that if you're hungry and you really, really can't make it to the three hour mark between meals, just get your um, something really light. If you could do an FP snack, if you could do like a piece of meat or something like that, um, that's okay to do on occasion, but in boot camp, you you understand why we don't want to do that too often. So just watch your timing as closely as you can. Enjoy your day of deep S meals. My plans for today, which are flexible, sometimes I can't always do exactly what my meal plan says. That's why in boot camp we have your plan A, your plan B, your plan C to help you stay on plan no matter what. But my plan for today was fried eggs um, and doing something with meat for lunch, probably leftover steak with some sauteed veggies on the side for lunch. And then I'm thinking salmon sounds really good for dinner. If you're following the meal plan I provided in boot and not in boot camp, the meal plan I provided on my website at thewellplannedkitchen.com slash challenge FC stands for fuel cycle. I have a full fuel cycle menu for you. The meal plan explains exactly what to eat and when. I'm not following that particular meal plan this time. I love that meal plan and I've done it so many times, but this time we had a big winter storm and I didn't have everything that I needed, so I'm kind of winging it. And when I went to the store, went to place an order online for other uh, foods for the fuel cycle, they didn't have everything that I would have chosen to have. So that's why for these deep S days, I'm kind of winging it a little bit, which is something I enjoy doing with fuel cycles. Anyway, I'm just sticking to deep S foods for yesterday and today, and tomorrow we'll move on. So if you're joining us for this fuel cycle, I'd love to hear from you. If you find that the fuel cycle idea is intimidating, I'd encourage you to just give it a try. It's not as complicated as it sounds, and you can eat enough and be satisfied with every meal on Trim Healthy Mama, and it's so worth it. So I'd love to have you join in. I'd love to hear from you if you are. Please comment if you're participating in this challenge, and if you're not, you can jump in anytime by downloading your free packet at thewellplannedkitchen.com slash challenge FC.